everybody, and welcome to the Stash Projects August uh, release video. We're going to do here real quick is go over all the information that we've sort of been churning out uh, over the weeks in July and putting it into like one easy to to you know, find location as far as what's going to be coming out uh, in August. Of 2014, if you recall from, uh, well, I guess it is technically last week's video, but the weekly video that we do, uh, we were waiting on Ravel for confirmation of its uh, official plans for August. We got that. And so now we can sort of proceed along with what you're going to get in August. Now, there are uh, all the things that we were talking about so far are still on schedule. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of domestic kits out of uh, Ravel in round two as well as uh, going over a pretty long list of uh, kits that Ayoshima is going to be spot running for the month of August. Uh, one thing that we would mention up front real quick are the first two of the uh, short tail uh, McLaren GTRs from Fujimi actually came out on Friday. So technically they came out on the 1st of August. They were uh, originally supposed to be pushed back to the 7th, which would be uh, three days from now on uh, Thursday. But they came out uh, on Friday. We'll cover those uh, in detail on our normal uh, Wednesday show. Next week, on the uh, second week of August, uh, Japan will be on their annual summer holiday, and so will we. So we will not have a video uh, that week, or at least not a normal one. So uh, if you're looking for our usual, watch our normal weekly videos, we aren't going to have one on the, uh, I guess it will probably be the 13th of uh, August. So, anyway, on to August here. Uh, you know, consulting, notebook of knowledge. Uh, from uh, Ravel, there are going to be four releases in August. You have the uh, LaFerrari, which is a rebox of the Ravel of Germany tool. Uh, from every, the things I've seen of this kit, it actually seems like it's pretty nice. It's a more basic kit than the Tamiya one, obviously. It's also going to probably end up being about... Uh, Somewhere between uh, ten and fifty dollars cheaper, depending on how you buy your uh, Tamiya kits. Because if you buy the Tamiya kits through Hobby Link Japan or something like that, uh, the LaFerrari is only forty bucks. Uh, and we figure this one, when it's reboxed by Ravel, it's probably going to end up running you close to thirty. Uh, so you know, there's a ten dollar difference there at your local hobby shop. Uh, you know, if you go to your local hobby shop for your Tamiya kits, you're also probably paying close to you know. The retail markup, which is going to be, you know, $89. You're nuts. Buy things from Japan, from Japan. Uh, your other uh, three kits, two reissues, one new tool. Uh, the Tom Daniel Street Fighter is being run out one more time. Uh, well, not one more time. It's not going to go into the Disney vault for 10 years or anything like that. But it's being run out again. Uh, my, two of my three local hobby shops, actually, I believe all three of my local hobby shops still have this kit from the last time it was run. It's going to be released under the monogram boxing again. Uh, the 1974 Torino 2 in 1. This was a factory stock and uh, had some drag option parts to it. This kit uh, has been reissued none times. It was re uh, issued once uh, in uh, 2000, I believe, under the Pro Modeler name and the big oblong boxes that they came in. It had some photo etch and some other uh, nice parts to it. It is a uh, sibling kit to the uh, Torino Cobra that uh, Ravel has put out a number of times, but this. Uh, 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 Torino GT, rather, has never been uh, reissued. So it's been 14 years since this kit's been around. Uh, it was getting kind of pricey and hard to find, depending on uh, you know how you look for it. Uh, you could sometimes find them at shows a little cheaper than others, but on eBay they were running uh, you know close to thirty, forty dollars. Uh, so if you have one, sell it now while you still can, because by the end of the month everybody can have one for twenty. Uh, and then the new tool kit, uh, brand new from the ground up tooling as far as we know. I don't believe it shares anything with the, either the 69 Camaro or the 68 Firebird. Won't know for sure until you have it in your hands and can you know compare it to those two. But uh, that will be the uh, 67 uh, Camaro SS. Uh, it's going to have some, uh, I, I believe this will be some drag parts or maybe some rally parts, or rally parts, but some SCCA parts. Uh, yeah, switch over real quick while I'm sitting here stammering, and you're going to look at me looking at my computer a lot. Uh, let's see here. I should have this information up front, but we're going to consult Ravel's uh, website real quick here. Yeah, racing interior, roll bar separate, back seat, uh, stock and racing wheels. So uh, I believe they were showing this sort of like to be a Trans Am kit when they were doing the initial uh information on it so i believe that's what it's going to be but it's a two-in-one allegedly uh the, the second option doesn't sound like it's gonna be much of much of an option it's not gonna be like a full-on race car or anything like that 
From round two, there's one automotive uh, release for August schedule, and that is a reissue, of course, of the uh, 1967 Chevelle Pro Street kit. Uh, it was a really nice kit for the time. They're not doing anything to it other than uh, reissuing it, uh, clean up the molds and stuff like that, but they're not doing any kind of new uh, tooling or anything to it. So it's got to look kind of dated. The kit's from the mid-'90s, and it has a mid-'90s Pro Street look to it, uh, and it just, you know, it's parked there. It's one of those kits that is, is not going to transition well age-wise into the mid-2000-teens. So, uh, you know, you may have to definitely source some new t uh, wheels for it, if nothing else, because the wheels in particular are egregiously old and 90s-looking. But overall, it was a nice kit. Uh it was part of that battle royale that Ravel and AMT did at the time where they both uh, issued 67 Chevelle uh, kits and then both did 67 Chevelle Pro Street kits. Uh, everybody seems to have their favorite, whether they like the AMT kit better or the Ravel kit better. I actually have um, both of the street cars and just the AMT Pro Stock car, and I have not built any of them. <laughs> so I can't say which one's better than the other. I just have them both. Uh, I got the Ravel one when it got reissued last year for like 10 bucks at Hobby Lobby or something like that. So it was a you know just a buy because why not? Uh, from Tamiya, uh, to remind everybody, you're going to get the uh, street custom version of the Tamiya 2000 Nissan Skyline GTR hardtop. Uh, this is a full detail kit. As far as we know, there is nothing uh, taken out of the venerable 2000 GTR kit. Uh, they're just going to be adding in uh, seat belts, a uh, photo etch, a chin spoiler, some turn metal uh, engine intake parts, and a driver figure. Um, it's kind of odd because the driver figure thing was something that Tamiya did back in like the 80s, and to have it suddenly show up again in a kit in 2014s. A little weird, uh, you know, but hey, cool. It's, it's cool at the same time. Also, they'll have those, those new uh, Wantanabe wheels that the uh, 112 scale uh, Z kit uh, had. So it'll have new wheels, too. Um, from Hasegawa, you have that uh, 2004 Ford Focus uh, RS German rally car that should be coming out in August. Uh, still no word of, of, of anything being tooled or not tooled, uh, or if it's just decals. We'll have to wait till that comes out. Uh, there's no real way to get information out of Hasegawa uh, online real easily. Uh, from Fujimi, you're going to have the spot runs of those two uh, Z4 Super GT cars with the anime pain graphics on them. You're going to have two more of the short tail GTRs, uh, the 49 West and the BPR number six cars should be out at the end of August, as well as the four uh, Ford GT40s. You have two uh, 60, uh, a 66 and a 68 GT40, and then two 1966 GT40 Mark IIs. Uh, all the box art for those seem to be done already, so those uh, should be uh, good to go for August. The box art for the McLarens is not done yet, so uh, you know they they may slide into September, but more than likely they'll come out in August because the tooling's done, and these two other kits are just decal packages, so they're just going to probably just stretch the time out a little bit to, uh, you know, between the releases so they don't cram everything down. Then real quick here uh, from Aoshima, this is a, this is a long list. Uh, we will have pictures of all these kits as they get spun out, but uh, they're rerunning the Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. Makes sense. They already rerun half the kit anyway, making the uh Roadster. They're going to rerun the 2008 Toyota Cron Athlete, the 2007 Subaru WRX STI optional wheel package. Uh, if you look for this online, it is the blue car with the the World Rally blue car with the gold wheels. Those are the optional wheels for that kit. There is a white one with uh, sort of like big five, big chunky five spokes. That was the standard uh, WRX kit from Aoshima in 2007. They're rerunning the 430 Cedric Tokyo Metro Police Car. Now, you may look at me funny and go, whoa, wait a minute. Well, I, yeah, I know that just came out in June, but they sold out of it. So they're rerunning it, a spot run of it again. You're going to get the late version of the S13 Sylvia with the engine. A uh, Let's see here. I'm going to try to keep everything in sort of a, a group by uh, kit option here. You're going to get a bunch of VIP cars. We're releasing a bunch of VIP cars. you got the Mode Parfum uh, Celsius Late, which is sort of the uh, the 
Mark one and a half version of the Celsius, the 430 and the uh, the LS400 and the Celsius had a very minor body styling change towards the end of the uh, LS run before it became the LS430. And uh, this is that sort of later body style. There was also a later Lexus in this uh, line, if you are interested in that. But uh, sticking with the, the VIP stuff, you got the a Mode Parfum F50 SEMA, which is sort of the big uh, SEMA that shares with the President uh, kit. It's They say early, but there was only ever one F50 SEMA that they did. Uh, they're doing a Auto Couture Celsius and a Avant Garde G50 President, which is the generation before President kit. K Brake Celsius, K Brake uh, Toyota Aristo, and a K Brake uh, Celsius Light. So there's both Celsius body, bodies out of that. Uh, they're reissuing the uh, Your Ass R34 Skyline. Ha, <laughs> Your Ass. That is the four door uh, version of the Skyline. It's not a GTR because it's a four door. But uh, it's a neat little kit to have. It actually comes with three sets of wheels in it. One set of tires, but three sets of wheels. So it's a good way to get some spare uh, GTR wheels. Again, it's not a GTR kit itself because that's not what that car is, but it has the wheel sets that came in the GTRs. You're getting another run of the uh, Rasty S13 Sylvia. Uh, the FD3S A-Spec Type GTC RX7 is going to come back out. It's a lot of letters. Uh, the Nismo bumpered R34 Skyline Z-Tune. Now, Aoshima and Tamiya both did uh, Z-Tune uh, versions of the R34 Skyline GTR. They also, Aoshima, did one with a Nismo front bumper on it, which is a different bumper than the Tamiya kit and the other Aoshima kit has. So if you're really into your Skyline collection, this is not the same as a Tamiya kit. Uh, they're doing the Volume 37 version of the initial D A86 Truno. Um, I don't see where it's really any different than either of the other ones. I'd have to dig out the instructions and really look. I think it has like the air intakes off of the uh, one with the open timing chain, but it doesn't have the open timing chain. It's just another engine version of a A86. Um, and then there are going to be three best vintage GT kits. Um, these are uh, an argument I've had with other people. These are my avoid these at any cost kits unless you really, 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 really like the body style. A commentary on Aoshima. They have a whole bunch of these kits they run out under the Best Vintage GT kit uh, moniker and uh, or Best Vintage Car GT moniker. And they all are really neat cars in themselves. However, they're also, for the most part, all of them on a very standardized plate chassis with most of the motorized parts still in it and the motor won't be there but you're going to get stuff like a switch in the chassis uh a battery box in your interior and all sorts of other goofy stuff now if you're building the kit just as a shelf model and you really don't care about it having any chassis detail or the interior details kind of spartan you're just going for you know this being let's say they're going to reissue the s30 uh fair lady z arrow uh, so you want a, 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 a you know Z uh, two uh, I believe it would be a, I don't know if it would be two forty or two eighty Z I'd have to go look but anyway you want a Z Nissan Z and you are and you want it with an aero body kit this is pretty much the only way to get it but it's going to have that motorized chassis to it if you want a Toyota Celica LB two thousand GT which is like the seventies Celica I really like the seventy Celica there is a Hasagawa kit out there of the same car except it's not a uh, 2000, I believe it's a 1600 GT. And, you know, I really like that body style Celica. I just can't bring myself to buy the Aoshima kit because of that motorized chassis. And then they're going to reissue the 78 MX-41 Toyota Chaser HT 2000 SGS, which is a car that suspiciously looks a lot like a Mustang II <laughs> from 1978. If you really sit down and compare the two, there's differences. It's not the same car by any stretch of imagination, but there are definitely styling influences uh, at Toyota for that. It's sort of a neat car, uh, but that one is a really an old like 1970s tool all the way around. This doesn't. It doesn't have any kind of like new parts to the front. Like the the Aero Body Z was a new version of their old Z kit. The Aero kit came out, I think, two years ago. Uh, I would really like to see Aoshima go back through a bunch of these best vintage car uh, kits and put some effort into demotorizing the chassis and putting proper interiors into them. All three of those kits uh, are, are spot run at least once a year, sometimes twice, three times a year. 
so they're obviously selling them, and I think that the tooling investment to you know bring them up to date just a little bit. They don't have to have like full detail chassis and engines, and you know they don't need to be the next uh, long tail GTR kit or or uh, Venator Roadster by any stretch of the imagination. But it would just be nice if they bring those cars up to date. I'd be willing to pay five ten bucks more than the you know fifteen dollar kit price that they're charging. For them to have an actual chassis to them and an actual interior to them that didn't, you know, build straight off of the platform of the fact that all three of those kits have the same chassis in them. Um, stuff to look forward to on our Wednesday video. We got some information that Bell Kit's going to be uh, reissuing some some of their uh, rally cars. They've been out of production for a little while, and we got uh, the September reissues from Ayoshima. Uh, just glancing at that, there's four wheel sets that are kind of nice to have back, and there's not really too much else there that isn't just sort of refilling the coffers as far as uh, kits that are out of production. So uh, that about covers where we're at with that. Uh, you're looking at uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about, between uh, counting the domestic stuff and the reissues and everything like that, you're looking at about uh, 60 model kits that are going to get issued in August. Uh, you know, probably... 98% of them are old kits being run again, but, you know, you got a couple new tools there and a couple modified reissues. Uh, but all in all, it's a good August. Uh, hobby certainly not dying by any stretch of the imagination, uh, at least this month. So uh, we'll see you Wednesday for our regular weekly video. And until we meet again, we'll see you on the other side.